Hey, what's going on guys? John and Brad with Best Price Nutrition here. Uh, you can visit us at bestpricenutrition.com. And in today's video, we wanted to uh, talk a little bit about California's Prop 65. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen on a lot of supplement companies' websites and really any and products, every, all products, my duffel bag, mattresses, everything, my Xbox controller. Yeah. yeah. Uh, according to the state of California, everything causes cancer. <laughs> um, and uh, a lot of people are understandably concerned about this, but when you actually kind of start digging into this, um, it, it's it's over overstated. Probably. Yeah. For for them to put a whole warning on it and deter people from buying certain products, it's the the levels that something has to have to fall under this Prop 65 thing are minute, minute. I think the 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 amount that uh, the state of California requires a warning for any product in which a consumer would take in more than. 0.5 micrograms of lead in a day and I think there's studies out there that show we have that much in our body like more than that already what, what do they say that that level is a thousand times lower yeah. than even the safe levels not even the levels that are exactly exactly so a thousand times lower that's insane <laughs> um, and, and this obviously this was put out with good intentions but you know, a, a lot of customers will call in very worried. We've had a lot of returns because people. Will see. Are you saying the government causes <laughs> unintended consequences? I am. I am saying that. I think everyone understands that at this point. Um, and we, we have a list of all of the compounds that it's what well, it's if anything can cause cancer or reproductive harm. And you know what's really interesting about this? So like you know, as a consumer, I, I want clean water. I don't yeah. want harmful things in Cancer. my foods or medications, but yeah. uh, they're, they're saying even herbs and plants that grow in the wild, like you said, apple seeds have arsenic, arsenic in them. Yeah. Um, and if we actually look at this list, just so people can get... Yeah, that's a fat stack. I was wishing it'd be more dramatic. <laughs> I'll put um, a boom in there. <laughs> but, I mean, literally, it, I don't know if you guys can see how many... We yeah, got, we're what, only in the seas right 20 now. 20 to 50 per page, and it just goes on and on and on. Um, and you had pointed out even THC, yeah, so, um, which California has essentially legalized, yeah. is it's cancer causing a reproductive harmful ingredient. Yeah. So just going through things that oh, it even says THC, and then it says cannabis smoke. So your cannabis smoke is Prop 65. It's going against Prop 65. And then you're not going to know what the most of these alprazolam. That's Xanax. Okay. Yeah. That's like the main ingredient in there. Um, and granted, some of these things you don't want in high amounts. Obviously, like asbestos. <laughs> yeah, and like like I said, barbiturates, just the whole the whole group. Um, benzodiazepines. There's there, there is a lot of stuff in here that makes sense. But what the point of this video is is you probably don't need to return the product or avoid buying certain things when you see this warning because you should know that the um, the threshold amount that something has to have to be on this list is so incredibly small that it's uh i, mean, I don't want to say it's not an issue because it, it could be an issue but you just have to understand like the relevance to how much you actually need of these items to have any damaging effects when you know and really when they take it this far i mean it's you literally couldn't buy any product and avoid yeah yeah all and, of these ingredients and that's what it is it, the threshold is so small that it makes everything a non-issue because there then there's no real you, you don't understand the actual danger of some of these when if everything is bad, then nothing's bad. But you know? I remember I, I, my, my Olympus duffel bag actually has a, this yeah. bag will give you cancer warning. Yeah. And, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like how can a bag give you cancer unless you're grinding it up and huffing it, you know? When you, one thing that was interesting to me, this topic comes up a lot and I think being in this industry, we're somewhat familiar with it, but I saw what kind of inspired this video. I saw a post on Reddit the other day and somebody was seeking out companies who don't have the Prop 65 warning. Mm -hmm. And I know on our websites, every single page has it. It's something that we just coded into there, but I'm guessing most supplement websites that people are going to find that don't have the warning, they've just neglected to put the warning yeah. on yeah. your website. You're not buying anything safer. I'm, I'm yeah. almost certain of. Yeah. The yeah, and, and if a company is going to be giving you dangerous amounts of lead, it doesn't matter if the warning's on there, they're still going to put it in there anyway. Right. <laughs> if a company is going to be giving you something that has cancer, or if you're going to be buying a product that has something in it that's going to be giving you cancer, that means that the company did it very haphazardly and doesn't care anyway, and will throw the label on there anyway, you know? So it's, it's, really, it's really not going to matter. Um, I don't know, and there's just dumb stuff in here. Um, but, but yeah, there... 
again, the point is that when everything is an issue, you don't know what's actually a problem. Because not everything in here is as bad as they say it is. When you get it in normal amounts that you're going to get it in your proteins or in your duffel bags or your pillows or your blankets or whatever it is. Well, it's kind of a shame too. I know for me it just kind of makes me turn off. I could yeah. care less about this whole thing because they've, they've taken it so far. Exactly. Whereas exactly. there probably are some legitimate things yeah. that I want to avoid. Yeah. If, if they did it in a better, more... It just seems very, like, unspecific. So no one really cares. And then the people who do care tend to, tend to really not understand how it works. So if you understand how it works and what it takes to be on this list, you... you cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, we're not saying don't abide by this list or don't be worried about this list, but we just want you to understand that what it takes to be on this list uh, is almost like a threshold of nothing. Maybe we'll drop some, uh, drop some links in the description box below to some other resources if anybody's yeah. interested in, in reading up a little bit more on this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, um, if you disagree with us totally, let us know in the comments. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all. We'll uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right. Thanks guys.